Hello, you might remember us from our videos of Murphy's Law, Engineering in Cinema, or 3D printing. Well, you might ask yourself, why do you have posted these videos so randomly? Well, this is part of a subject that we have been taking for the last trimester, Communication School Class, part of our career in engineering. We were thinking to be an easy subject, but nothing further from the truth. Our teacher loves giving us assignments, which is quite annoying at times, honestly. But now that we reach the end of the trimester, we realize that these assignments are just part of a project to improve our communication skills, which are essential for engineering. So let us pass on the knowledge that we have acquired. First of all, the first 20 seconds are of the utmost importance. Try to begin with a question directly addressing the audience so that they feel pulled into your work. Also, avoid reading and try to keep the constant eye contact so the audience cannot look away from you. Be careful about your posture. Try to keep straight and don't fidget or walk around like this because that will just distract your audience from the words you're saying. Something in Latin that our teacher loves saying is less is more, as the one is less. Even though this may seem like redundancy taken to the street, but it is actually a good piece of advice. What it's basically trying to tell you is to make your presentation as simple and short as possible without making it empty of content. If you're going to have the slides going on behind you, there are a few things to keep in mind. First, avoid big chunks of text. They just distract the audience from what you're saying. Try to put images that add something to your presentation, not just random photos. We also recommend you to watch this video that is going on in this slide about how to do a presentation. My personal experience is very gratifying. When I started talking in front of the public, I didn't know if I was able to speak properly. It is true that now I continue getting nervous, but I think this subject has made a big difference for me. This means that now I can express better myself when I have to do a presentation. Sometimes people ask me, what did you learn from this class? Well, I thought I knew how to talk perfectly in public. But when they asked me to talk in front of an audience to present a project, I realized that I wasn't as good as I thought. I learned how to work with my body language, how to keep eye contact. It's been a great class and I really enjoyed it.